All right, we are back. You know, we've told you for years, Ohio is a welcoming place for refu refugees. Often talking about people coming here following recent conflicts, being displaced from Ukraine or Afghanistan. But did you know the biggest number of refugees coming to our state last year were not from either of those countries? They were actually from the D Democratic Republic of the Congo. News 5's Nadina Basada reports on what's being done to help them. In 2004, Jockey Lama and his parents knew they had to go. As I got older, I got to realize the danger that I was facing. Um, all, so much of like civil war, so much of like young kids being taken away from their family to go join like the military. His journey started at nine years old when his family left the Democratic Republic of the Congo for a better life in the States. I wouldn't have as much as uh, as much as opportunities that I have in the U.S. Um, compared back to home. 20 years later, Ohio is still welcoming refugees from Jock's native country. It's just like it's it saddens my heart a lot, just knowing that there's so much unrest going on back there. In 2023, the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services reported 382 refugees from Afghanistan, 72 from Ukraine, and more than 1,300 from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. I think Congo's refugees really get overlooked, um, and perhaps African refugees like at large. The U.S. Committee for Refugees has watched the Congolese population grow and create a community of their own. Now you see more grocery stores and clothing shops as well as Congolese organizations to help with the acclimation. We have a, a group called the Comrades that we really rely on heavily and they're a pan-African group. We are youth volunteers uh, that we, we want to give uh, the new refugees a positive impact. As for Jacques, he carries two jobs, one with USCRI helping those immigrating from back home. I'm very proud to see the grown community. I'm proud to be engaging in the community as well. And the other with the Ohio National Guard helping protect his new home. That's why I joined, so I can be part of that service, that need for people that they can feel like, oh my gosh, we have somebody looking out for us. Reporting in Cleveland, Nadina Busada, News 5. And if you would like to help, there's a lot of opportunity to do so, including making a donation. Yeah, Nadine will be posting a link in her story on News5Cleveland.com.